Welcome to my Texas workshop. I'm Randy Lammers. I'm Aaron Keevan. This is Worth Knowing. We have provided an excellent episode on mechanical anchors, but what do you do if that's just not right for your application, but you still need an anchor system? Today's show is about an adhesive anchor. So we want to welcome back to the shop. Thank you for coming back, Keith Barrett from Worth Construction Services. Thank you for having me again. All right, so we went over these mechanical anchors and now we have an adhesive anchor. So when would we want to use adhesive anchors? Okay, with an adhesive anchor, it actually is going to be stronger than a okay. mechanical anchor. Okay. Okay. So that's where you're really going to be using it is where you need additional strength. Gotcha. So more resistance to pull out of the masonry or concrete. That is correct. Wow. Okay. And so what is the adhesive? Okay, it's a two-part epoxy. All right. And so what you'll have on here is that you'll have a single tube or a double tube. Okay. And then you'll have a nozzle, which will actually mix the chemical. Mm -hmm. And then you put it in, the, after you clean the hole, you're gonna put it in the hole and then put your fastener in. Right. Okay. And then let it gel and cure. So we end up then putting an epoxy in the concrete hole. I'm kind of thinking something here. If I really mess up putting in a mechanical anchor, <laughs> maybe I drilled the wrong hole size. That this would could never be a, happen, right? No, I would <laughs> never make a mistake like that. <laughs> That's a go-to, isn't it? Repair. That is correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. And also, the another added benefit is you could get closer to the edge on some applications. That is correct. You can get okay. closer to the edge. Right now, we have the single tube. You can also mm -hmm. get a double tube. Okay. And then they have a large bulk um, Container cartridge? cartridge that you could use too. Oh, okay. Awesome. So if you had a lot of holes. Okay. okay, so we do a lot with that. So let's install this <laughs> <laughs> and see how it works. Okay. Sounds good. Right. Very good. Let's go over there. All right. So we have gone to the local home center and bought just a basic concrete block for our demonstration today. So I guess, Keith, this all starts with putting a hole in the concrete. That is correct. So what you would do is, depending on what size rod or hardware that you're going to use, okay, you're going to need to look at the instructions from the um, vendor. All right. You're going to drill the hole that it recommends for the size rod. Okay. Then after you drill the hole with a hammer drill mm -hmm. and a carbide drill bit, mm -hmm. you're going to then clean the hole. All right. After you clean the hole, then you're going to go and get a brush. You're going to brush the hole. Okay. Sure. Then you're going to clean it again. Get, making sure we got all loose debris out. That's the critical piece, right? That is correct. Yeah. Okay. It's all a right. much more intensive process than what we saw with mechanical anchors, where you really just need to get most of the dust out of the way. This is you actually really need to get down into the hole. The hardened and, and remove more of yeah. that. The hardened concrete or masonry material. Exactly. Okay. Right. Right. All right. Okay. And then we're going to put the cartridge in the caulking gun, all right. which is going to just use a standard caulking gun. Sure. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to. Um, Dispense the adhesive All right. okay. until it gets to a gray color, and then we're going to put it into the hole. Okay. And then as we after we put it in the hole, then we're going to put the all thread rod in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now one of the things that we're going to have to really make sure of is on this, you're going to have a cure time All right. and a gel time. So the gel time is when you can still work the product. Your working time, which so is I'll critical. Get, which is very this. critical. Yes. In order to get it where I want to set. Correct. Yes. And that's also determined by how hot it is outside. Right. How much humidity. Temperature. Temperature. Yeah. So, and then after that, then the anchor will set up. Okay. And then after it sets up, then you can use it. Then we're good to go. Right. Okay, yes. so there really is a process we need to follow. All yes. right, then let's start. Aaron, you want to yeah. grab the tool? Oh, I know the drill. <laughs> oh, you're so <laughs> funny. So this is not just a drill, right, Keith? No, this is a hammer drill. Okay, okay, so we have to have a hammer drill to go into something hard block like this. That is correct. All right, so okay. let's get her get her drilled. That does create a lot of dust in yes, the breeze. Now, now we need to clean again. Yeah. Thank you. That looks like a bicycle pump. <laughs> All right, I remember this, Randy. Oh, okay, move we back. We got a little bit of dust last time. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, 
We need to do something else here, don't I? Put the brush. Ah, I remember you, you taught me this before we started, thank goodness. All right, I'm gonna switch in. Oh, so that goes in the hammer drill? Yes. Okay, well I would've just taken that brush and just used it like a pipe cleaner. Okay. There you go, Keith. Thank you. Oh, easy install, all right. Okay. That's yeah, it. but we're not done, right? No, we're not done. We gotta blow it out again. Okay. See all the dust that came out. Yeah, quite a bit. Okay, so we have a drilled, so go ahead and grab the uh, adhesive. We yeah. have a drilled hole that has been brushed out, it's been puffed out. <laughs> Hand these off to Keith. I like my tech, you like that technical term, puffed <laughs> out? Okay, as I said, it was a standard caulking gun. Yep. Go ahead and remove that. Remove the nozzle. Storage nozzle. Okay. okay, and this is a critical piece because that's where your mixture takes place, right? Or you're mixing it. Yep, it is actually a mixing nozzle, mm -hmm. and inside is the mixing tube. Okay. So you start this. All right. You pull the caulking gun. And as you can see, it's going through. Yes. So really, we're just getting it started on the whatever we have here. So that's a. So as you can see, it's starting to get the more of a gray finish. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Okay. So you like kind of nice... give it a primer in a sense, just yes, to get it mixing, ready. mixing it up. Gotcha. Okay, then you start from the bottom of the hole. Sure. And just fill your hole and up. Just fill your hole up. All the way to the top, typically? No, you would actually leave, go to about three quarters. Okay, because when you you're gonna have you, the fastener. When you put your fastener in there, it's gonna displace displacement it. Displacement of volume. It. Yeah, yeah exactly right. Volume. So you gotta make sure you don't fill it completely. Okay. Or you might have a little mess. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Very so I good. guess our next and last step would be now, to install something here, right? Yeah. But the first, I've got a question. Okay. So is there any re recommended wait period before I put my fastener in that hole? Well, that is what the gel time is, so that's what is so critical depending on what type of adhesive that you get. Okay. You have to look at the container. All right. And then yes, there is. So sometimes there is a, a, a dwell time or a gel time that you need to wait, let that kind of get a little set up before you put your fastener in. That is correct. Yep. Okay. And once again, it's all determined by the, what you're using okay. and then the outside temperature. Yep. Okay, all right, so yeah. uh, for the timing of the show today, <laughs> let's go ahead and put our fastener in. Okay. Yeah, and there's rapid sets and everything, so, so it but, could but change a little bit. What's a typical time wait? What's yeah. typical? Give me an idea. Uh, on this one, uh, this actually will gel up in under 10 minutes. Okay. And it will harden in 45. You have some that will actually gel up in 30. Okay. And then harden in two hours. Okay. okay, so there's a little bit of a wait time in doing this type of, uh, of a product okay. installation there. So you put it in and, you, and you, as you put in the faster, you're turning it. Makes sense. That way to have engagement. Right. Okay, and now you have the anchor installed. Okay, Perfect. very good. I have a little bit of time, because I even see you have a little bit that pushed out. Yep. That gives me a little time, I can do a clean up on that real quick if I wanted to. If you wanted to, yes. Okay. All right, very good. Very, really, it's an easy, it's a little time consuming, yeah. but a easy installation. So. Yep, and it's gonna give you additional strength versus a mechanical anchor. Very good, thank you for that. So Keith, that was a very simplistic, very easy demonstration, so thank you for that information. You're welcome. I think I understand that. <laughs> In conclusion, adhesive anchors are a strong alternative for anchoring into concrete. Yeah. And it allows you to get closer to the edge so that you don't have blowout from the concrete. Yeah, yeah. exactly right. Yeah, that can be a huge issue. Uh, it's versatile. You could potentially use uh, different types of fasteners. I could think maybe an eye bolt mm -hmm. as opposed to even just using an all thread rod. So that right. could work out well. There you go. Yep. One of the important things to remember though is follow the directions and clean the hole. Yep. So you don't have failure. Absolutely. So think of adhesive anchors as a great solution for a robust, strong assembly in masonry and concrete products. Adhesive anchors provide strength and versatility when assembling to concrete or masonry. Very much worth knowing. Big thanks to Keith Barrett 
for joining us from Worth Construction Services today. Thanks for coming back on the show. Just like last time, make sure you subscribe. See y'all next time.